one of the other thing i want to touch upon is breast cancer breast cancer recommendation is mammogram at the age of 40 or 45 40 40 annual screening mammograms every year every year every year so a lot of people have this misconception that mammogram itself will cause cancer so no it's not like that the kind, the risk of getting a cancer from a mammogram is much 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 lesser than missing a diagnosis of a cancer so broadly it is said that before 40 ultrasounds annually after 40 annual mammograms. mammograms but again it depends upon your history supposing somebody has a very strong family history that your mother your sister everyone had a you know a, a breast cancer history then of course we do uh, you know more intensive and more frequent screening for that woman i've been practicing for more than 30 years now you think the breast cancer rate is increasing or decreasing 100%. increasing it's so common so common so common so very common at so what age usually at uh, what is the earliest age that you've seen 24 years and that too in a woman who was pregnant it was like i will never forget that patient she just came she was 6 months pregnant and she said i can you know feel a lump in the breast and then you know the first thing is it might be just a milk duct or whatever and then i palpate and i said no this doesn't look nice and then of course we got a scan done they said no this is doubtful we biopsied it was proven it was an intraductal ca and then of course you know we put the patient because we couldn't deliver the patient earlier we put her on some kind of a chemotherapy which could sort of control the growth of the cancer we delivered her at 32 weeks and then you know a mastectomy was done and all that pregnancy so. is supposed to protect from breast cancer no no uh, i'm sorry so it's a very broad thing it's a very broad thing it is said that women who breastfeed their babies uh breastfeeding has a protective, protective effect benefit, correct women who have no children are at a higher risk of getting breast cancer women who've never breastfed are at a higher risk women who have a family history are at a, are at a higher risk but dr paul you'll be surprised women who have who are diagnosed with breast cancer many times have no family history they have two children they have breastfed so there's practically no reason why they have got breast cancer so it's not that simple that uh, you know i have a child i have breastfed so i'm protected no it's not like that though of course these are you know Risk sort of low. the uh, predisposing mm. factors but sometimes a woman may just get a breast cancer just like that So once again it's important that you go and get your annual health checkup health done. Check-up. It's very And there important. there's something called self breast exam, right? What do they So self like breast examination is a good idea, but nowadays we don't use this term like a self breast examination. We say it's important to be breast aware. Mm. How does your breast feel? Mm. If we have to choose between not doing anything and doing a breast examination, it's a good idea. Every woman must do this. But we have to understand by doing a self breast examination, you can pick up lumps only who are which are more than one or two centimeters, and that too, if a woman is very careful, you know. But you know, a breast cancer, in case it is detected at a stage where the lesion is just about one centimeter or so. the prognosis is much better much better so great you do the self breast examination uh, but it does not it is exclude the possibility of not going to a doctor because even a doctor when i do a breast examination i can miss lesions which are less than a centimeter mm. and how can you feel with yes, your hand with that, yes and if a woman is obese Correct. you are likely to miss it but a good imaging will pick it up and obesity increases the risk of breast cancer yes. uh-huh. obesity once again uh, you know smoking exposure to hormonal you know that's why at 14 years you give her birth control, birth pill. control pills what are we doing rather than educating her and the mom we are constant we are trying to make her completely dependent on an ocp forever for her life this is not fair birth control pills does put you at an increased risk of Uh, pre cancer slightly But not a lot again having mm. said that we need to understand birth control pills are a great invention of course of course they have revolutionized the way women have regained the control of their reproductive destiny 
It's very important. But we need to understand that putting a patient on an OCP will not cure her of PCOS. Once in a while, I also put my patient on an OCP in case a person is bleeding, she has a lot of bad hirsutism, to let the you know, situation get back to a point of a control. We can put that. But then telling her, let you take this and your PCOS will go away, that's a wrong notion. Right? So we need to, OCPs are not bad. I mean, there's generally people say, oh, you know, taking a birth control pill, even for a contraception is bad. It's wrong. Birth control pills are very safe. Once again, they are taken on a, if they are taken on a doctor's prescription, not on your friend's prescription. It's important that you talk to a doctor because today we have Multiple. more than 100 types of a pill and the doctor decides which pill is good for you and then puts you on that kind of a pill. Of course.